Welcome fourth graders. This is your audio support for the follow-up for the theme lesson. The follow-up is the 1 through 10 task cards in the Google form. So don't forget to write, type in your first and last name and select your homeroom teacher. Now remember theme is the message lesson or moral that the author wants you to learn from the story. It's not directly in the text. You have to predict and infer the theme by looking for the clues. Ask yourself these questions. What did the character do? Uh, what did the characters do? What did the characters learn? How did they grow? And what message is the author trying to send you? So once again, we have to follow the character's actions, what they said, what they did, and how they're growing and how they're changing in the story. And then we have to figure out by predicting the lesson that the character is going to learn in the story. So number one, Sarah's room was a mess. She had books and papers all over her desk and toys were scattered across the floor of her room. She had clothes stuffed under her bed and her dresser drawers were so crammed with things that she almost could not open them. Now, her assignment was due and it was missing. She looked everywhere in her backpack and in her room and it was nowhere to be found. What is the theme, the lesson learned? What is Sarah going to learn? after struggling right now and she can't find anything. Is it always be kind to others? Can we predict that being kind is something that she was going through right now? Sarah is very messy and she couldn't find her assignment so it can't be always be kind to others. B. Good can come from bad. Did it mention anything about her making good choices or bad choices? So it's not B. C. Being neat and organized will pay off. Do you think she's going to learn this lesson after struggling with her messy room? Remember, she can't find her assignment and it's missing. Or is it D? Love conquers all. The story did not mention anything about love. So it's going to have to be, so it's, so it's going to be C. Being neat and organized will pay off. Because if she has her room organized next time, and if she does have something missing, she'll know exactly where it's located. So it's going to be C. That was the theme. So Miss Sarah is going to learn to be neat and organized, and that's going to pay off. So I did number one with you. Now, for two through ten, you're going to be working on them by yourself. I will just be reading the task card and the answer choices, and make your selections in the Google form. So work on the Google form side by side with this. That's where you put your answers, by clicking on the link. Number two. James was a person everyone seemed to love. He went out of his way to help anyone that needed help. If someone dropped their books, he was there to help pick them up. If a new kid came to school, he made sure to include them at recess. Then one day, James was playing soccer and broke his leg. He came to school in crutches, but it was hard to carry his backpack and band instrument everywhere. Funny thing was that no matter where he went, everyone wanted to give James help. What is the theme, the lesson? Money can't buy happiness, be yourself, it is good to be caring, accept others' differences. So what is the theme, the lesson that Mr. James is learning? What is he realizing? Number three, Molly got a brand new puppy from the pound. She named him Max. Molly's parents told her that she could have a dog if she took care of it. So Molly fed Max and gave him water each day. She played with him and brushed him too. The only thing she forgot to do was to close the back fence when he went outside one day. That's the day that Max got lost, and it was the hardest day Molly had ever experienced. What is the theme? So what did Molly learn? What do you think she's going to learn since she left the back fence open and her dog escaped? And now Molly can't find the dog. So what lesson did Molly learn? Honesty is the best policy, like being honest, like not lying. B, human beings all have the same needs. C, hard work will be rewarded. Or D, be sure you are responsible enough for a task before, ask, uh, before starting. Task means job, so be sure you are responsible enough for a job before starting. What did she learn? Card number four. Trevor stood at the edge of the mountain and looked down. He knew how dangerous a fall would be, but he made up his mind that he would have to be that he would have to carefully climb down a little. 
to reach his sister, who had slipped a few seconds before. No matter how much Trevor's heart raced, he knew that his sister was in trouble and that she needed him. What is the theme? What lesson is Trevor going to learn? What is he realizing right now? Based on what's happening, the action. A. Bravery overcomes fear. Like being brave is more important than being scared. B. Be happy with what you have. C. Accept others' differences, like accepting everyone for who they are. Or is it D. Don't judge people by their appearances. What lesson did Trevor learn? Number five. As Alice walked down the sidewalk to school, she noticed that Ryan dropped a $20 bill without noticing it. As he continued wor um, walking to school, Alice bent down and picked up the $20 bill. She imagined all the things she might spend on, um, spend it on and how fun it would be to go on a shopping trip with her friends. Then she thought about Ryan and how he would feel when he found the money missing. Sighing, Alice hurried to catch up to Ryan and to give him his money back. What is the theme? What did Alice learn? A. Good can come from bad. B. Bravery overcomes fear. C. Accept others' differences. Or D. Honesty is the best policy, like being honest and being truthful. Number six. Jack looked at Ethan and knew his family was well off. From the expensive tennis shoes he wore to the fancy car his mom picked him up in, Jack could tell that Ethan never had to hear, sorry, it's too expensive, or... We cannot afford that right now. Jack wished he could have all the kinds of thing, all the kinds of things that Ethan had, but he knew it would never happen. At recess one day, Jack asked Ethan what it was like to have everything he ever wanted. Ethan responded with, "Yeah, it's great and all, but I've seen how much fun you have with your family, and I would give anything to trade places with you." So, what is the theme? What lesson did Jack learn? based on what Ethan told him at the end there, that he wanted to trade places with him. Is that A, money can't buy happiness, meaning no matter how much money you have, it's not going to make you um, joyful. Or is it B, sacrifice brings reward. C, always be kind to others. Or D, hard work will be rewarded. What lesson did Mr. Jack learn at the end when Ethan told him he wanted to trade places with him? Number seven. From the time Alexis was eight years old, she dreamed of being a dentist. She decided to study science like never before. After high school graduation, she went to college and then to dental school. She studied many nights until she almost fell asleep, and she often gave up the chance to do something fun if she had a test the next day. Finally, Alexis became a dentist and had the life she had once imagined. So what is the theme, the lesson that Alexis learn based on all her sacrifices based on all the work that she did what did she learn at the end because she ended up being a dentist is a lesson a human beings all have the same needs b if you work hard enough you can make your dreams come true c love conquers all or d family is important number eight elliot could feel the anger rising in him he wanted to go to a friend's house for a birthday party, but his mom asked him to stay home and watch his little brother. Elliot stormed downstairs to talk to his mom again about it, but all he got was the same answer. He was so mad that he ran upstairs and slammed the door to his room, which knocked a family picture off the wall. It fell on the wooden floor with a crash and glass went everywhere. With a crash and glass went everywhere. Now he not only had to miss the party, he was grounded for a week. What did Elliot learn? A. Persistence pays off, meaning like never giving up. B. Overreacting does not pay off, like being dramatic and extra and throwing a tantrum. Or C. Money cannot buy happiness. Or D. Follow your dreams. Number nine. Rochelle begged and begged her mom for a new pet. Her mom was hesitant at first since this was Rochelle's first pet, but agreed in the end since Rochelle promised to take care of it. Rochelle brought her new puppy from home, from the pound, and named it Patches. Patches was an active, sweet puppy, but very untrained. The first day, he chewed up Rochelle's new shoes and made chew marks on her furniture. Rochelle quickly found out that having a puppy was not everything she thought it would be. What is the theme? What did Rochelle learn? A. Be careful what you wish for. B. Sacrifice brings reward. 
meaning like things you give up. C, accept others' differences, like embracing everyone for who they are. D, you can do anything you put your mind to. Last one, number 10. What is Mark going to learn? Mark was a new kid in school and he mostly kept to himself. He was born with a large birthmark on his face that made him feel self-conscious. So most of the time, he felt it was easier to avoid people than to be rejected. Tyler was in Mark's class. He noticed Mark's birthmark, of course, but he also noticed that Mark never played at recess, but just sat alone under a tree until the bell rang. Tyler decided to invite him to join him and his friends in a basketball game. So what was the lesson that Mark learned? A. Sacrifice brings reward. B. Forgiveness is important. C. Be kind to others. D. If at first you don't succeed, keep trying. So what did Mark learn? Because Tyler did something nice for him. So what did he learn that day? And then you click submit. Make sure to make a 70 or above. If you make below a 70, you know the drill. You have to complete another one and I will take your highest. I will take the highest grade. Um, this was your theme, one through 10 task cards, the audio support video. And I hope that this video was helpful. And um, I hope that you're enjoying your day. And keep it up.